welcome to my classroom. My name is Susan Morris, and along with my assistant, Allison Gormley, we teach three, four, and five-year-olds at Admiral Farragut Academy. What we'd like to share with you is how we implement a STEM program with preschoolers. Our everyday math curriculum has introduced weather and collecting weather data, and what we will be doing this week is we will be introducing a broad concept like air and exploring it with our preschoolers through some fun and exciting experiments. We hope that you enjoy spending some time with us this week. Yeah. Savannah, were you able to move anything with the straws? No? Sam, were you able to move anything with the straws? Yes. What did you move? Uh, punch balls and, and marbles. And marbles. So you were able to move things by blowing through a straw. You saw just Nico blow my hair, right? And sometimes when we're outside, we see, is there air up here? Yes. Is there air over here? Yes. Is there air down here? Yes. Now take your hands like this, Nico, ready? And go, air is everywhere. Air takes up space. Open a plastic bag and swing it around or hold the bag up to catch the air in the wind. Then close it up quickly. You've trapped air inside the bag. You can't see the air. Did I capture some air? Yes. I did. What if I like this? I wonder if I could capture more air. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 All right, so. oh, very good. Would you like a new one? Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. 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 Make sure that your bag does not have a ribbon. I got air. Do you get your air over here? Yeah. Air is What's holding you, Jacob? <laughs> Science? Yeah. No. Well, look at this no. bottle. What's no. in that bottle? Nothing. Nothing is in that bottle? Hmm. Let's see. I don't see anything. Where, where is air? Everywhere. 
everywhere. Air is everywhere. We learned that yesterday, right? Do so I is there air in little. this? Is there air in this cup? Yes. Yep. Is there air in this cup? Yes. Okay. No, I'm going to show class. you. Oh, pre-K. I'm going to show you that this water is going to take the place of the air inside this bottle. What do you think will happen when I take this bottle and put it underwater? It's going to put water inside. The water will go inside and where will the air go? Out. The air will go out. And what will I see? How will I know the air is going Bubble. out if it's invisible? Bubble. Bubble. Oh, well, not right now. Sorry. Ready? Okay, are you ready? Watch. I'm going to submerge this. That's a big word. I'm going to submerge the bottle. Ready? Watch. Bubble. <gasps> the water is going in and the air is going out. <gasps> it's kind of like somebody snoring. Now, let's see. Somebody, yep, yeah, look, look. Now, there's a little air left in there, but watch. When I pour the water out, what's going back in the bottle? Air. Air. Air is going back. Will that same thing happen with our test tube? Yes. yes. All right, scientists. This is going to be for you to decide when you go to the water table. I also have lots of big cups for you to I'll try. Go to it. Now, the coolest experiment is with the tissue. Ready? I just saw the air cup. Did you see the air cup? Hey! I don't air that's moving. I want you to squeeze really hard like that. Just squeeze yourself like that. Do you feel that? That squeeze? That's called pressure. Now take your hand and push on your arm like this. That's pressure. Squeeze it a little bit. Not too hard, but squeeze it. That's called pressure. Do you think the tissue's wet? Let's see, scientists. Can you tell me if that tissue is wet or dry? How did that happen? I don't know. How did that happen, scientist Oliver? This is a lamp. I'm making a Did that one work? A little lamp. When you put your cup in, ask go straight up and down, right? Because you don't want any of that air to escape. called air pressure, Bernoulli's principle. You can have a turn with Bernoulli's principle. Isn't that fun? amazing? Should we turn it up, Sam? I'll turn it up. Wait a minute. Carlos, are you, are you guys showing respect when you're yelling like that and pushing each other? 
If you would like to get wet, why don't you raise your hand and I will come down and I will squirt all of you. Okay, now remember, we're inside, so we're going to have a level one voice or a level three voice? A level one. A level one, so when I squirt you, don't yell and bump your neighbor, okay? I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to go all the way down the line, okay? So if you wanted to be wet, I'm going to let you. Say air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure. We will wrap up our air investigation with a field trip to our aviation lab where our students will have the opportunity to try out our FAA-approved flight simulators. We hope that you've enjoyed spending some time with us this week.